Hey friends, this is Tig again with another reaction video. And today we're gonna to be doing a reaction on Taylor Swift uh, concert tour, her Eros tour, I guess that's what it's called. Well, I wanna do a reaction. Somebody asked, can you do a reaction on this if I decide to watch it? And I said in the past that I was gonna check it out. But the problem is uh, YouTube like to copyright things a lot, okay? And Taylor is singing in this concert, of course, it's a concert. So it's gonna be very tricky. I'm gonna try to do it and post it. I might get blocked. I don't know what the situation is gonna happen because this is the first concert that I tried to do a reaction to. So hopefully things will go well. So let's go ahead and get into this reaction. But before we do, please like, subscribe, and share this video. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you know whenever we come out with new videos, okay? All right, let's get with it. This look like something like something out of a horror flick or something like that, man. Looks good though. I heard about this. They said something about this look like witchcraft or something like that, man, right? Never heard the song though, but I did see in the article when they was talking about this particular performance. I'm really feeling this song, man. This is a nice song. I mean, other than the visuals, man, I'm really liking this stuff, man. Very beautiful song. I mean, something that, you know, like you would sing with an orchestra or something like that, man. Very, very sweet. Very soft. Pressed. Dog, oh, man, she already look a little exhausted at this point, man. A little exhausted, man. She need to rest. I think the way they plan it, right, is how they uh, set it up knowing that, you know, when she was probably younger, she was probably able to do more performances and dances and things that I saw. I never saw any of her concerts. I'm just assuming this is how they set it up. But, you know, as you get older now, you can't be as strenuous as you used to can be, man. But uh, she's doing a great job, though, man. But you can tell she need a little bit of that rest. Ooh. Oh, look at that. That background, man. How can you not be motivated seeing this, man? This looks so good. This is so beautiful. You know, it looked like, like I said, I was mentioning uh, Japanese culture before. That might be a motivation, too, as well, the way it looks. If you saw the um, Crazy Rich Asians, the way they set things up, it was just, it was just beautiful, man. It was just very, very lovely. Skip, I had to make a little bit of adjustment here. All right, I'm back, I'm back, I'm good to go. All right, let's get back to, let's continue. Oh, that's a beautiful woman, man. Very beautiful. Oh, this concert. Can imagine being there in person, man. She is so beautiful. Outfit change. Yeah, they probably just cut it. Like I said, I wonder how uh, um if you have to sit there and wait as she changed. You know, I know at like when when women model on the catwalk and stuff like that, man, they gotta change really quick. So I wonder if she, that's something she also have to do as well, real fast. Damn, is that moss on that guitar? I'm telling you, man, I'm getting like Twilight vibes, Japanese, all those movies that you sing, man, with a lot of teenage stuff, man. Very nice stuff, though. I like this. Yeah, she look exhausted, man. She look tired. But she can keep going, boy. I mean, I can't, I can't imagine the strain on your voice. You know? I wrote it. I thought, you know, that would be a really cathartic experience, I'm sure, to... Get to sing. Yeah, that's a good thing about it too, man. That's another, you know, 
a, a, a thing about her too. She, she writes a lot of her songs, if not all of them. I'm not exactly sure. Like I said, I don't know a lot about Taylor Swift background, but she definitely is a talented woman. I mean, like I say, some people might like her, some people might hate her. They say a lot of stuff about her behind the scenes or whatever the situation is. But you can't take away the fact that she's an amazing performer, singer, writer, all of these things. Man, you got to give it to her. Yeah, boy, yeah. I'm liking this, man, big time. I'm liking it more than I thought I'd like it, man. I knew this was going to be a decent concert, a good concert, but I'm really getting into this. Damn. They know the words to all her songs, boy. But I mean, they dedicated fans. I'm not surprised, man. But I'm telling you, boy. Like I say, man, these are the type of things we're bringing people together. I'm sure not everybody in that audience agree about the same thing. They probably got different um, political uh, views. They probably, you know, black, white, uh, 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 Indian, Native American, all of these things, right? But one thing can bring people together these days. It seems to be music and concerts, right? Big time. What is this? Guess she performing too, man. This 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 is very interesting stuff I'm seeing here. Is he a performer or something? Um I don't recognize him. I don't know, he looked a little familiar, like I've seen him before. Is he a performer? Leave it in the comments if you know who this guy is, man. Because I have no clue. I don't I know mostly older performers, so I don't know who this is. But it's a beautiful background, man. I like that. Beautiful song too. <laughs> Must be an actor, man. He performing this stuff, right? Very interesting. Uh-oh. She known for like her, her, her tantrums on her videos like this. Probably would have something to do with love. Very intense type stuff, man. I wonder how, wonder if she loved like that in her personal life. Is she all on the table? Look at her, boy. Woo! Look good in that freaking dress, man. I ain't gonna lie. Very nice legs. Excuse me, man. Hey, it is what it is. I'm a guy. That's just the way it is. Don't fall off. Oh, <laughs> sweet. Reputation. Okay. This is one of her, uh, I believe this is one of her clapback type songs, right? You know how, like, rappers battle, you know, each other sometimes. Sometimes it's a friendly battle. Sometimes it's real. But these, um, she also known for a lot of her clapback type music, too, as well. Ooh, nice outfit. Very, very sexy, man. Very sexy. This probably the side Kelsey get to see of her, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, man, she you know she's look sweet and all, man, but she probably got another side to her, man, that's like really, really sexy. You know what I'm saying? You know what it takes to be a performer these days, man. You got to know how to play instruments, you got to sing. You gotta learn dances even though i mean i think when she used to do country i don't know if she did any type of performances why she did country when she was young i think she just played like you know her, her guitar or something like that right i'm just making an assumption here okay but you know these days man you got to do that and even more man it's crazy stuff I think she's a billionaire by now, man. I mean, this girl got to be worth a lot. I heard rumors, man, that she also had to even insure her legs, man. I can't imagine you're insuring body parts, you know. But this woman is worth a lot of money to a lot of 
people, man. And they're including, uh, you know, states and countries too, right? Like they say, they, when you know Taylor Swift coming, they shutting everything down, man. You know, you definitely gonna be guaranteed to make revenue with her, boy. Can you imagine, man? Like I say, man, she probably can do anything she wants to when it comes down to her concerts, man. Full control. I mean, a lot of them are like that too, right now, man. Even um, uh, Jennifer Lopez. Uh, I think Janet Jackson's still doing it. Madonna and Beyonce, man. They probably could just do anything. They write because I think um, uh, uh, Beyonce like written a lot of her stuff. I don't know if she directed her tour or something, but yeah, they got full control, man. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, man. Yeah, that's another thing too. She liked to write about her exes. I wonder if she like include these things on her tours. And if she make up with them, if things cool, does she continue singing these songs? Uh, and but we gotta pretend like she didn't write about somebody. <laughs> Very interesting, man. If you're gonna date her, man, Kelsey, watch out, man. You might be the next big hit. I think she's the biggest paid entertainer out there. I can't imagine anybody else that get paid more than she does. As far as entertainment goes, man. I mean, like, shoot. I mean, I know a lot of people who would say Beyonce or whatever, man. But, you know, I don't think Beyonce making the kind of money she's making. You know what I'm saying? This is what I was talking about with the clap, uh, clap back type songs, man. I think this might be one of them right here. You know, I think it was a little controversy behind this song too. I heard, this, you know, the the thing she's saying, "What you make me do" is almost like you're blaming somebody else for something else. Some about, you know, some crazy stuff, man. But I heard it was some controversy from that line in the song, "What you made me do." Though, if you know what I'm talking about, please leave it in the comments. I hope you're enjoying yourself. This is fun for me. I am having a good time. All right, all right, all right. Is this a snake? Okay. Where are we going now? Where are we going now? Speak now, okay? Oh, beautiful background, man. Look at that, man. Oh, nice. I, I think I have this in my thumbnail for uh, um, a trailer that she did for this concert, man. She was wearing that dress. Beautiful on her, man. Very beautiful. Oh, she's doing the point thing again, man. They probably, well, they all standing up, it seems like, man. You know, that's something else, man. She pretty much grew up on the stage. This is probably all she knows. Well, she been, like, doing songs since she was 12 or something like that. This is something she definitely knows, man. That's what I like about her and people like Prince and stuff. They got professionals on stage with them. They don't just bring up, bring on their friends and stuff like that. Well, she might, she might be friends with these people, but I'm just saying... I think she picks out professionals that can sing and play um, instruments and dance, all that kind of stuff. You know, but you know, with a lot of these people, they'll just bring up their cousins or something like that, man. But I appreciate it because she is a professional, man. She's talented. She understands music. She understands tone. She understands equipment. All these things, man. She understands probably what people do in the background or something. She probably know all this stuff. Nice, nice, nice. Beautiful, boy. I tell you, man, that con look, I don't know if I ever go to a concert like this, man. It's just too expensive for me, man. But I would love to, though. Most definitely, definitely one of hers, man. Goodness, I miss so many great artists, too, man. 
Oh, nice. Oh, that's nice. Uh, special effects like that. Oh, okay, what's she doing now? This must be one of those diss things she does clapping back at people for criticizing her. I hear she don't like that too much, but usually she like the way she claps back is put it in one of her songs or write a songs based on it. Cause you know, being at the top like that, a lot of people ride you, man. Whether you deserve it or not, man, they ride you big time. She's at the top, so people gonna come at her. She gonna get that hug, man. She gonna get that hug. She like, thank you. I've heard this song before. Yes, definitely. Damn, how can she sing this long, man? This got to be a strand on her voice. She probably don't even talk before her concerts or something, man. Because you, this stamina here, this is straight stamina. <laughs> she did a break, man. She did a break. She should take a minute, man. But I'm thinking, you know, there's some pauses. Um, but they just cutting it up to seem like she's just performing neck to neck. And we can tell by the costume changes that she's doing right now. But she she's going strong right now, man. The, the voice still sound good. LA, are you enjoying the red era so far? Yeah, I'm enjoying this, man. I'm liking this, boy. Wish I was there. Wish I was there. Oh, very beautiful, very beautiful, very beautiful. So I remember when I first came across her, man, she was young, she was still singing country, man. Her songs, well, even though it was for young women, young girls and stuff like that, man, but I have to admit, it still was beautiful, man. You, you know, I mean, unless you got a really hard heart, unless you really hate Taylor Swift, you got to appreciate, oh, you know, her songs, man. Like I say, you know, everybody got different tastes and they like different groups and you know, and I got my favorite groups as well. I, I can go down the list of them, man, but I can't deny, man. She got some really nice songs, man. She does. You know, the kind of money, man, Taylor Swift make, man, she probably can feed a small country, man, but she feed a lot of mouths, man. A lot of performers depend on her, man. So. She pretty much got to keep taking care of herself. You saw her at the football game. She was guzzling a lot of beer and probably staying up late party and stuff like that, man. You know, after a while, though, she can probably have to chill out because that can that can really affect your performances. I've heard about other artists that's really into, like, drugs and drinking and staying out late all the time. It really affected them, especially the attitude towards their own music. So hopefully she's really taking care of herself. Yeah, her plate was full, man. She was doing concerts. She was going to the football games. She was going to award shows. She was, you know, her, her stuff was in the theater. I mean, like, she's killing it, man. 23, 23 and 24, man, is her years, man. Because I don't think anybody else has been this successful like her. Tell you, man, the girl got stamina, man. You got to give it to her, man. All these concerts. Oh, my goodness. Folklore. Okay. Ooh, that's interesting. The way they spin it like that. Oh, like, these girls about to go crazy. Look at them. That's something else, man. I like that. I uh, should get the rest. <laughs> Ooh. 
Who's she singing about, man? Everybody getting crazy over this, man. Did this mother mean something? Leave it in the comments if you know, please. Uh-oh, be careful. Oh, okay, she might be like on top of a rooftop. Okay. <laughs> These girls. Do you need really need fantasies, man? When you pretty much have anything you want, <laughs> she probably could do anything right at this point in her career. Sometimes I wonder, man. A lot of these girls, they love falling in love and breaking up and stuff like that, man. That seems to be a thing with women these days, man. Men usually, when they find somebody, they generally want to stay with them. But women, it seems like they love the emotional thing about getting with somebody, the highs and then the lows and then the breakups, man. So then they start talking about it and tell the case situation. She sings about it. But it seems to be a thing with women that like to do that, especially younger women. You know, when I think about songs like this, man, I feel like I'm like, like out there in the countryside, you know, and you got that truck in the, in the bed of the truck, man, with a beer in your hand, the girl by your side, you had to sit there and looking at the stars and just, you know, just so romantic kind of a thing, right? Oh, I miss that kind of stuff. Did a lot of that stuff when I was in Colorado Springs, man, did a lot of that. That's probably why Disney wanted on the platform. This, other than the fact she's famous and she making tons and tons of money on her concerts, but it kind of this kind of stuff remind you of Disney, kind of the, you know the cartoons, the animation. That might, that's why so many young girls probably love going to her concerts, but do anything to get in. She got that Floyd dressed to perform out there, man. Looks good though. She looks great, man. His outfits looks really good on her, boy. I think the point is to um, give off some type of fantasy type thing, man. They want people. She want people to come there. I feel like they almost in a dream or some kind of, you know, status, something, right? Which is very, very considerate of her when it comes down to her fans. Because she know her fans better than probably most artists know their fans. She really into them. She really depend on them. You know, because like I said, she also on social media, talking to them, giving them uh, updates and all this other stuff, man. So she really, really want to please her fans. It's because... Like I say, you can say anything about her and other performances, man. But when they give they all to their fans, you got to say they very, very great performers. Wonder if this thing was just specific for Disney or something for for the concert that she's doing this last tour all the special effects and all the things that's going on in it i wonder if all her concerts are like this or she just put in there all because she knows it's gonna be you know with disney streaming services and you know at the theater that's that's pretty interesting mm, that's nice i like that i'm telling you, i'm loving the visuals here i'm really loving this Everybody want that hug just like that little girl got, man. Cause that's like the highlight right there, the highlight. Just to be able to touch her clothes, I guess, right? What I understand how music, um, uh, being an artist works is, uh, most of the money from the album sales and all that kind of stuff go to a lot of the companies. But the concerts, 
the performers get most of the pay you know um, performances so everything that come along with it if she decided to sell like hats or t-shirts or whatever like on vending or something like that i believe it goes in her pocket so i'm sure she got the greatest deal of all man because you ain't gonna you ain't gonna say no to taylor swift no no sir you're not gonna do that Tell you right now, man, this is probably the beautifulest concert I ever seen, man. But I haven't seen a concert in a long period of time, so I don't know really. But I doubt if anybody concert anything like hers, man. Yeah, she was born in 1989, boy. I was already an adult by that point. <laughs> I heard this song before. So that's what a lot of performers do. When they make new music, right? They'll uh, sing the new music in between the older songs, the hits. That way people, you know, they, they sit around listening to the new stuff and waiting also for the older stuff that they love. So this is a very smart tactic to do that. This is one of the first songs since she transitioned from country to pop. It's one of the first uh, videos that I've seen. It's the first song that I recognize, and I really, really, really enjoyed it. This was a song when I realized, because the last time I saw her before this song came out, I thought, you know, she was still that little girl, young girl thing, teenager, all that kind of stuff. But this was, this was the time when I saw this video and heard this song, where I realized she was maturing and getting older. <laughs> very nice, very nice, very nice. It's kind of remind me of like a cheerleader type song, man. You know what I mean? She needs to take a break, man. She going straight from dancing and singing like that, and now she like singing still, man. You, I think I thought they was gonna make some kind of cut or something like that after those rep performances, man. But shoot, man, she got that stamina. I wonder what she taking. I need it. You know, it's very interesting too. And I'm bringing up Kelsey for a second there, man. When she was at the game, she was guzzling them beers and hugging all over him and all that kind of stuff, right? Very different from the kind of performances and the songs and the things that she do, right? So I guess sometimes she wants to just live life in a different way than people expect. And a lot of people really didn't expect her to get with a football player, with all the other guys that she dated in the past, which is very interesting, right? But you know what? You got the right to switch up, do what you want. That's the part of life, right? She's, she's married to Orlando Bloom or she's dating Orlando Bloom or that's her boyfriend. I forgot her freaking name, man. From what I can see, usually when she does the guitars or she playing pianos, it's kind of personal towards the fans. I, I'm, I'm starting to notice that. When she wanted to get down, she start telling stories. She start talking to the audiences. And then she, it's, it's like little quiet moments together with you. So you can appreciate that, man. Very, very, very savvy businesswoman. I mean, it's been a little bit of everything. You have been so kind to me in letting me explore genres and, and step outside boxes that are created for us in the music industry and that's only because of you that I get to do that 
See, these are the country days when she was out. People used to love her, man. And it's good that she thanked them for that because, like I said, man, if it weren't for her fans, she wouldn't be able to do it. Sometimes artists don't let you uh, um, go outside your box. I mean, Beyonce is going that, through that right now. There's a lot of people not liking the fact that she's going country. And some people appreciate it, but they want her to stick in one area. But it's great, man, that you got fans that's willing to stick with you regardless of where you go. I'm not saying they're going to love everything you do, but at least they're loyal enough to let you explore yourself. can tell man she really having a good time i guess it doesn't hurt she getting paid a ton of money either but to be able to have fun and love what you're doing man that's a dream for everybody everybody want that I guess going to one of her concerts is like a once in a lifetime thing, man. You, you know what I'm saying? You'll never forget this man. Not as beautiful as it is, the songs, uh, uh, the performances, the background. You'll never forget that. I, you know, I remember going to Star Wars or something like that, man. And when I saw that man, never forget the feelings and the emotions I was going through when I first saw it. And I can imagine a lot of these young girls were going through the same thing. Oh, that's a very nice special effects right there, man. I wish you gonna be sitting on the cloud or something. You know, when you really think about it, man, she kind of an OG at this point in her life, isn't she, right? You really can't really think of her as a little girl or teenager anymore, right? She's one of the OGs now. I mean, it's, it's weird to think about her this way, but when you really think about it, that's really the case. I don't recognize this song, man. I don't think I've ever heard it. It's almost like promoting too, right? They'll sing songs, especially if they have a new album out. So they'll promote it because people are like visuals. And sometimes I will like a song after I see the video. I'll hear the song at first and not like it so much. But then once I hear the, uh, uh, see the video or something, then I appreciate the song even more. You get a little bit more excited about it. And it does help. And I think it's great. It can make um, these concerts make people like these songs, these new songs that she's singing now, even more by seeing it visually. It works. That's how our brain works, I guess. Ooh. Nice. Nice outfit. Show a lot of leg, man. I appreciate it. It's one of her bad girl songs right here, man, right? Like I say, that's why she was thinking all her audiences for let her explore, let her grow. You know what I'm saying? So she can step outside the box, do some stuff that people won't expect her to do. But it's great, man, that they'll just give her that autonomy to do whatever she wants and feels as she get older. You know, a lot of uh, Disney actors and singers want to break out with more adult type stuff. And I guess this is kind of the songs to show everybody that she is a woman. I mean, I always thought of her as a woman anyway. I mean, I never thought of her as anything else. But yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This, this song definitely would tell you that. kind of remind me of the 80s man you know what i mean that feeling i used to feel man I used to watch these sci-fi's whatever this is kind of what it reminds me of
<laughs> you had absolutely given us everything that you had tonight. She earned that freaking money, man, today. She earned that money. You gotta have some voice training, man, to be able to last this long. I never seen anybody last this long, and you don't, they don't look like they're they're losing it. It must be some kind of trick or something, lozenges or something that they're able to last this long, still sound the same, and sound as good. Now I know she's not lip syncing, so I'm just saying that she got some endurance, man. She got some serious endurance. She deserved that money, boy. She deserved that money. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. All right. I really appreciate you coming by and helping me enjoy this beautiful, fantastic concert by Taylor Swift. It was amazing. I love all the visuals. I love all the performances and songs. A lot of the songs I didn't recognize. I like some songs more than other songs. But either way it goes, it was fun, it was exciting. You can tell she loved what she's doing. And I totally understand why she's one of the highest paying, one of the biggest performers out there right now. I completely understand it now. Like I said, I've never seen a concert of hers. I've only seen a few videos, uh, music videos that she done, heard a few songs. But now I can say I heard more of what she's she's done and now i know even more that she deserve the accolades that she get okay all right i really appreciate all of you coming by thanks for sticking uh by me if you want me to start posting these type of things on my patreon if you want to see the whole reaction as i go through it please let me know because most likely i'm gonna have to edit all this very short as i can possibly can just to be able to get monetized which is not easy trust me it's not easy okay but like i say i wanted to do uh something different you know mess around with obs that's what i use usually to record and try to do something different that y'all might enjoy and like and if you do please let me know leave it in the comments that you enjoyed it okay i try to work hard for you and you know i just want to just hopefully y'all do appreciate it so i i really enjoy doing this all right all right thanks again for stopping by this is t and peace mm -hmm.